Good afternoon. A beautiful day in Amsterdam. It's about 13 Celsius. Almost summer. Comparing to previous weeks, today we have such a nice weather, partly cloudy, no rain, no strong wind, so it's nice. Hey guys, happy Easter for who celebrates and who is gonna enjoy this weekend. We are gonna walk around Herenkracht today. Herenkracht is the second canal in the order of Amsterdam Canal Belt, the Golden Belt. By the way, last week, last weekend and last week, I was sick. That's why we stopped making live videos. But uh, thankfully, we could meet our uh, supporters from Brazil, Paolo Mello and Luciana Mello, in my town, Wasp. That was nice. Thank you so much, guys, coming again to the Netherlands from Brazil. And thanks for the gifts I will share later. Let's start our walking tour. It's going to be around 14 minutes. We are starting with a, such a nice view, right? Leo Hartmann, Sarkan from Turkey, Nigel, hello there, Arabas, welcome to the Netherlands, you will be here soon, Tibor from Hungary, Tiago, Heli, you too, thank you very much, Pablo from Argentina, Dutch farmer is here. Thanks for coming here guys, we're gonna walk together like 30 or 40 minutes. Oscar, Sebastian, hello everybody. Let's begin. I'm gonna walk slower so I will try to show you the ambience better to you. I was just sitting on that bank actually, before starting to the live stream. For a while I sat down on that bank with that view and then I jumped to another spot I will show you on our route look at that I put the title car free canal area and now there's a traffic jam here in this junction but this is not the place where I'm gonna show you this is not Herrenkracht by the way this one is Kaiserskracht the third one the one I want to show you is the other one. In the last two years, it's renovated. Helen is there. It's Gentleman's Canal. It's built after uh, 16, 14, I think. Oh, look at that. There's a missing cat, and it's a Turkish speaking cat. This name is a Turkish name, Turkish woman name, Aileen. So, a Turkish speaking cat is missing since 6th of March such a long time hopefully they found it the canal way we're gonna walk through gentleman's canal in Dutch Herenkracht is once upon a time where the richest people or the most famous people were living in the 17th century. Maybe it's still the same, still a lot of expensive houses are located there, houses or buildings. And it starts from there. On the left side there's Heron Markt, Gentleman's Market. But nowadays it's a children playground. Here it is on our left side. In the background you see that building. It's the former head office of Dutch West India Company. I'll tell you about that. But uh, after a little walk, it's the place. 
and here is the second spa that I sat down. Uh, it's a little port that you can enjoy the view and in the hot weather they jump into the canal from here. So I was just sitting on the corner while waiting for the live stream and it's uh, it's a great weather to spoil me a bit. It's a popular photo spot by the way. I've seen a lot of uh, canal cruises while I was waiting. There's a public urinary here. It's an uh, important landmark in the canal belt area. Otherwise people will pee into the canal. So this is the corner where Herencraft Gentleman's Canal starts. From here until Amstel River, for two and a half kilometers along, it continues. So if you, if you start, you're walking from that side or this side, in approximately 30 minutes, you will be arri arriving to Amstel River. And to the east side of the city. Hello Canada, thank you so much. Birds Lau, H20. Jack Mundo, good to see you. Elon Gibbon, our old supporters, long time supporters. Thank you. Sundar is here from Dordrecht. As a bird lover, Sundari, I think. You are also enjoying this weather because all the birds are singing around. There is a flower bike man bicycle here. I think it's uh, made by flower bike man probably. This this type of decorated bikes are left around the city by an American man who lives here. He's called flower bike man. He just donates that bikes to the city volunteer supporters it's swap fits rental bike by the way those blue uh, blue wheel bikes are rentals we will walk through that side but there was a bridge here there was a small bridge it's not there any longer unfortunately because we were planning to go through that bridge to arrive there but now we have to walk around from the corner. We could also walk through this way, but uh, that side is recently renovated. In the last two years, it's renovated. So it's more beautiful and no car around there, no vehicle. I mean, almost. This is a rental boat. Anyone can rent that boat. If you are visiting Amsterdam, this is Mokum Boat Company. You can rent that boat without a license, without something, driving skills, etc. It's so easy. And it's more budget friendly than uh, other private company boats. Up to eight people, I think, you can rent that bikes. There are many departure points in the city, throughout the city. And According to your time schedule, you can rent it for two hours, three hours, four hours, however you wish. The price will be cheaper if you get into that boat for uh, uh, six people or eight people. It costs at five. Let's carry on walking to the other side of the canal so we can walk towards Heerenkracht. But before we continue, I will mention something about those buildings over there. Dutch West India Company head office building, formerly. Nowadays it's a restaurant and event centrum, as I know. But uh, it's, I mean, Dutch West India Company was moved, moved here, had been moved here, I think, around 16, 14. They were managing North America and South America 
colonies from this building and in 1625 they decided to found a new city which is called New Amsterdam and later it's named New York. So first mention and first decision of building New York it was decided here in this building in 1625. In that times, the colonies in North America, they were called the Netherlands, the New Netherlands. And current New York area was called the New Amsterdam. Another flower bike, man bike is over there, purple color. Look at that, there's a bike rental bike rental advertisement over on an old bike frederick.nl good advertisement here is it is bike rental you can rent a bike from here it will be convenient better better than renting a bike from amsterdam central station because this area is more beautiful than the others you see another bike is here uh, I think uh, actually she's wife of Flower Bikeman, as I know. Look at that. Flower Bikeman, how he started to this adventure, this donation of bikes, because his wife has an illness that uh, she couldn't find her route easily. So Flower Bike Man decorated that bikes and put all around the city for his wife. So she can recognize the bikes and she can find her way. That's how he started. So he started with a romantic story. Real love. Is they call Rondfart. This is the company where Michael Jackson once upon a time used if I'm not wrong. Yay. I think someone is going to move from house. There is a lift over there. All right. Eleven oh one experiments. Welcome and good afternoon, Tommy Sun HG. It's been a long time. Ginge, welcome. Thank you. Well, it's been a tough week. I was sick and I worked uh, since Saturday. Uh, hopefully, my little family is fine because I told them I become sick. And if you wish, we can postpone our meeting. They were in ways. My little family was in the Netherlands, and we had planned to do a pop crawl with some other friends also, hungry Mankinji family and Sonar, etc. But we had to cancel that pop crawl and I told Mello family that we can post one if you wish. But they told me that. They told me like, oh Murat, we brought some gifts. Of course we will meet. So at the beginning of my sickness, we met in a cafe. We got some espressos and cappuccinos together and they brought me some nice Brazil slippers. So it's a... Uh, biggest sign of the summer is coming thanks to Mello family yes Tommy and I saw your messages later not in the pop crawl but later I saw that you meet 
the sound, you were a business call. Sorry about that. <laughs> we miss your comments. Thank you, Al Manish, 1101 experiment. And as you see, it's like 14 Celsius, a bit, a bit windy, but not much. We're gonna walk through here. It's still under renovation. This way is the central site. Amsterdam Central Station is over there, and this is Harlemer Strat, left side. As you see, this canal cruise is 1 hour 20 euro. And inside you can buy your drinks separately. Any drinks, you can pay with your credit card also. I know this one, flagship Amsterdam. The other boat cruises cover it once. Uh, the covered ones, one hour is about 14 or 15 euros. For example, that one is coming. It's a lover's canal cruise in distance. That one is around 14 or 15 euros for an hour. And they provide audio guides. And also the skipper, the uh, captain also tells you about uh, some important landmarks, important things about Amsterdam. But uh, along the journey you can always listen to the audio guide. They have like 10 or 20, 10 or 12, sorry, 10 or 12 uh, different languages on that audio guide. There are similar ones, this one is Lover's Boat Cruise, but there are many others similar ones, covered boats in the uh, bad weather or rainy weather, these ones are more comfortable, I think. So, it's not easy to go through these pinholes. I think there is another boat over there still, so it goes slowly. We are witnessing on a live stream. It's a huge one. Yes, he made it once again. As if he's crushing, but he's, he's not. <laughs> they are really experienced in these narrow canal ways. It's not easy, not for everyone. Anyways, let's get on walking. We will see more boat cruises on the way, probably. Hopefully another time with you, Tommy-san. Oops. Well, despite I'm not a smoker and I rarely use that green stuff, this is my favorite coffee shop, Siberia. Siberia. It's in a calm area, quite. And in, inside interior is modern. Music is also modern, modern like R&B, hip hop, something. Another boat cruise is on the way. You see 19 different languages they have. So we had a little bridge here. It was making our life easier. It's not here any longer. They will rebuild. They will bring it here again. But who knows when? Probably two years later. We'll look for that again. This is the bridge. So it's built in, oh no, over the Harden Wetterstag, condemned in 1899. 
all the zeiss after Bruchwald and at Bruch over thousand. Here it says on the Amsterdam canals. On the we on the history of we are renovating this bridge because the bridge was in a bad condition. The weather is just getting better and better. Uh, look at that miracle in the tip point of the <laughs> canal wall there's a little green green stuff is here Edison has just arrived thanks Edison blue boat Well, Chala, Chala is in Turkey. She hasn't returned back after your feedbacks and comments, Tommy san. Shame on you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. She couldn't come here. She has been to Germany a few times, but she couldn't come here. She was on business trips or in Germany. But hopefully she will come back again. If she ever come back, definitely we will make live video again. But uh, we are keeping in touch on Instagram we are following each other so this area is new as you see the whole area is in pink color that means it's a shared road like so for vehicles, for bikes, scooters, and for pedestrians, but there's no car at all. Maybe cars are not allowed to enter here during daytime. I'm not sure, we will check the signs along the way. But uh, in the last two years, it's renovated like this. Before, it was the same as the other side. Now it's cleaner, much better, and a wider space. It's wider than the, in its previous condition, I think. In this canal way, gentleman's canal, there are many important buildings. I know only some of them. I, I will show you a few of them during this walk in the next 10 minutes. As I said, it's a long canal way. It's two and a half kilometer. We cannot finish it today. We will turn left around Dam Square area, so we will not continue after that. All the houses around this canal, they are from 17th century. Because in the Middle Ages in Amsterdam, there were three big fires. The last one happened around 1590s. I'm not sure about the date, but it's after 1590. And until that date, all the houses were wooden. After that third big fire, almost every building were burned down. The city, the city council banned uh, to build wooden houses any longer. So after that, only, only stone houses Brick houses were allowed to build. That's why all the buildings, the oldest ones all around Amsterdam, they are from 17th century. Only a few buildings from 16th century, I think. And one of them is just 10 meters away from here. I will show you that. Hey, Paul and Ten Hats. Welcome. <laughs> 420 Amsterdam, yes, we just passed through Brauerskracht. We left there. Good day, Christopher Jordan. Oh, Jordan, Jordan. <laughs> I call it Jordan area. Angelo, hello there. Teresina is here. Good day. By the way, tomorrow we will have another live stream uh, after 3 o'clock. Uh, you can wait another live stream. YouTube and Patreon supporters already know where I will go, but we will not be in Amsterdam. 
So tomorrow we will see each other again. Hopefully you will enjoy that one also. So here is a modern house moving. There, sometimes there are modern house movings, uh, sometimes the old school ones. So in every building on the top side you can see that tools that using the lifts to move your uh, households, house goods, because they, they are moving out from the windows. The stairs are too steep. So you cannot... Oh, this maximum 15 kilometers says. Wow. It's handmade sign. I think it's not by the municipality. I have just seen that. Anyways, the houses are so narrow, small stairs are steep. So you cannot move your things inside or outside by stairs. You have to use the windows. That's why in the centrum, if you want to move to somewhere else, you have to rent a lift. A kind of elevator, you have to use it. This is a modern one, electric, electric one. This building is really looking nice, but I, know, I don't know its history. And the side streets are really beautiful. There is a museum here, Multatuli Museum. To be honest, I don't know what is inside. I have never been to this museum. Multatuli Museum is here on the side street. There is also canals, Amsterdam Canals Museum uh, in Kaiserskracht, maybe somewhere a bit far from here. Look how they enjoy the weather here. It's not a common weather, you know, the temperature. This temperature, we haven't seen this temper temperature for months. For months, we rarely saw the sunlight. Only in the last two weeks, three weeks, we have seen a little bit. But today is the best, I think. It's an electric bike. All right, this is, this is the one I want to show you. It's number 81, Herrenkracht number 81. This is the oldest residential building in Amsterdam. It's from 1590. It's the building survived from the last fire in Amsterdam. There is a living history here. This building is here since 1590 and it's still in use. I don't know for what purpose it's used, but probably someone is living here. For example, that one over there, it's from 1672. <laughs> this boat almost sank, <laughs> almost. It's pretty. And the next one, next building is from 1657. As I always say, say it's a great day to have a great day. 
Let's take a look to the bridge. Another Mokum boat that I showed you before. It's a rental one. It's a popular and easy to use one. Oh, there's a team. Sport team is coming. Only in Amsterdam. Sail through the 17th century canal belt, UNESCO heritage. You can rent a boat or you can do like this. Hello. Enjoy, have fun. <laughs> Bye. It looks so great. And next to them, there is a canal cruise. Plant friendly neighborhood. So we are in spring. Next month we have important events here. The King's Day is coming. 27th of April, like every year, we're gonna celebrate King's Day like there is no tomorrow. Instagram phenomenons are taking pictures over there. There is a great testing house over there. The red red one Arnold's and an arm nest, I think, art nest. They have terrace also. It's a Geneva place. Another time, not today. Electric car charging station, of course. This one is from 1648. And on the next building, same year, this one, there's a beautiful plate, the Flick and the Foss. Flying something, Foss, Fox sighting, Flying Fox. Probably there is a there is an underlying meaning. You have to look and research about that. Currently, I don't know. Beautiful parked bike here. Nice, very really nice.
The other side from 1652, that building is a hotel, Hotel Craftsman. Probably in the history it was a merchant house. The, the style is looking like a merchant house. Look at this harbor area. Gray area stop. <laughs> I think it's on the next corner. Gray area. Bill McMath, hello, welcome. Let's carry on walking. It's already 36 minutes. I think I was too slow to walk. I'm gonna show you some other areas before finish. Oh, it's an interesting name. Look at that. Gluten-free pad. Gluten-free pad. So it's gluten-free pad. <laughs> Welcome and beautiful Amsterdam, it says on the top. How we go down? Let's walk through next to the canal, through this little harbor area. Wow, nice. Look at that. I hope it's safe. I have to, actually I have to walk to this side so you can see the canal way, but, <laughs> but we have to go there. Hello Boston, Kevin. Oh, there's a swimming point all right let's continue from the normal way hello lalelu our german friend Look, our Turkish speaking cat is also searched here. Eileen. Same Eileen is also as a flyer here. This is car-free and bike-free street. Family-friendly street in a short way. Next bridge is, most of you know guys, it's the widest bridge in Amsterdam, Torrens Laos. 
if I remember correct. Puccini is on the right side, the famous chocolate store. This is the widest bridge. And yes, it's Torrance Loss, Tower Lock. The direct translation is like that. It's tulip season. As you see, we have tulips now. Kirkenhof is open. The famous tulips garden. If you are around, you can visit until May. Cool girls go to the after party. I agree. 100% agree. Fashion. United Nude. But it's temporarily closed. Look at that style. Design. What's that? Shady Shack. <laughs> Another flower back man is here. In front of Shady Shack. Let's get Shady. All sunglasses are 12 euro and all waterproof I think 35 euro if it's waterproof really it's a good price 35 euro bags <laughs> and our journey was started at the beginning of Heron Craft ended up here next to the new church and Dam Square is just after that royal palace over there. Let's finish this with a little beer tree somewhere. I'm gonna find a place. But where? I'll try the bar on this narrow alley. There must be a bar on the right side. Let's have a look together. If not, there's another place in Neuendijk.
so this is a gate of the new church The three monks, I think, monikers. The three little monks, the name of the star. Show you another angle of the new church backside. Amsterdam Street Center. Vintage store. Ladies, I'm really sorry, it's only for customers, yeah? Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Can I get this one also? You can come inside first, yeah? Okay, thank you. Thanks. How much is that? I will pay. Uh, I think it's easy. Sure. Five eighty. Okay. Thank you. Thanks so much. This is special edition for Easter, I think. Bra Amsterdam. Can I sit here? <laughs> Thank you. No, no, it's okay. I'm small, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. So, this is Brower Het High. <laughs> Amsterdam Brewery Beer. But it's Easter edition. And it's written as this one. Pass eye, Easter eye, that means so seven percent alcohol. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> 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 ah, it's good. Uh, Best small bar in the world. Wow, 420 is now in this bar. I've been here before only once. Thank you. We are finishing this here. Thanks so much for watching. See you another time. And with the Prost. Are you Dutch? Prost. You are Dutch? No. Uh, okay, <laughs> Prost. <laughs> Cheers. I was on a live stream and we are finishing. Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs>